So before starting the session, one quick announcement. If there will be any issue regarding uh, screen visibility and uh, voice, uh, guys, please let us know during the session uh, and then uh, you know we will take care of it then. Rupesh, are we good to go? Yeah, go ahead, Anand. Yeah. Uh, hi, a very good morning, everyone. Uh, myself, Anand, and I'm the host for today's seminar, Build a Bright Career with Microsoft Azure. So we'll quickly start with the agenda of today's seminar. Rupesh, can you turn on the slide, please? Yeah, I changed it already. Is it not I visible? guess it's not visible, yeah. yeah. Just a moment, I'll just reshare it. Please check if it is visible now. No, I think we are stuck at the same place. Uh, it's visible to me. Uh, Anand, it's visible to me also. Can same you yeah. check your for us? Just a minute, please. Yeah, it's visible now. So uh, we'll quickly start with the agenda of the today's seminar. So why we are here is like, why do people pursue certification, certification paths, like fundamental and role-based certification, additional certification, and benefits of being certified, investment in upscaling, impact on talent acquisition, ROI of the organization, and impact of certification on individual and organization across the globe. So before moving ahead into the seminar, let's have a small introduction about uh, today's event sponsor, that is Synergetics. Uh, well, Synergetics is India's one of the prime corporate learning solution company, which helps any industry to get their relevant technological solutions and helps them to be on top of the competition. We are not only restricted to a group training, but also our Microsoft certification training helps every individual professional to succeed in this competitive world. So here are some master solutions offered by Synergetics. The first one is onboarding and the second is reskilling. Third one is certification, fifth is certification plus add on. And sixth one is cloud adoption, seventh is architecting, eighth is play, uh, practice playbook, and the latest technology, last but not the least, emerging technology training. Now, why people should go only with Synergetic? Why not to go with any other organization? So, Synergetics in the business of creating certified professionals from last 25 years. As we carry the huge experience, so we have a deeper understanding of the challenges faced by software professionals and companies. Our unique training methodology includes, uh, includes concept visualization, active development, and active experimentations. So we are also Microsoft Gold Learning Partner and Azure Circle Partner. So we have served more than 300 plus corporates, which include domestic as well as international customer both. So here are some proven records that we have uh, top MNC that we have already catered to and is still catering, which includes Microsoft, Infosys, HCL, Cognizant, Accenture, Tech Mahindra, and Manipal University, etc. There are a bunch of companies that we have already catered to. So here are a few examples. Now, why people should go for the certification? So what are the benefits that you are getting after being certified? So first of all, it certifies the credibility and capability on your workforce on a technology. So if your organization is a, it gives your organization a specialist positioning, brand value goal increase, probably it will lead to draw best talent towards the organization, and your organization will be aligned with the end customer technology needs and decrease in attrition rate and investment from Microsoft itself and recognition from industry leader. So there is a high demand in uh, for the professionals skilled in uh, Microsoft technology, higher earning, and a solid foundation, and a new career path if you want one. I guess you are at the previous slide, uh, Rupesh. 
No, I've changed it. On the next slide. Okay, okay. So I think it's not visible to me. I'm so sorry. Uh, so we are actually yeah. coming up with the offer on AZ two not four. No. Uh, oh, awesome. Anand, uh, it's what? Azure screen that I've shared. Just let me reshare oh, once again for you. Start. If it is not visible. Yeah, please reshare. Got yeah. Start. Yeah. Just a moment. I'm just resharing it. Yeah, please check if it is visible. Yeah, it's visible now. Yeah. Okay. Why Azure? Why should people go only with Azure? So first of all, it's on top when it comes to adoption globally. So it's pay per use. You do not have to invest upfront. And Azure is much simpler to manage as it's an Azure platform. And there are more than 54% uh, of companies that are moving towards Azure, in which 95% of Fortune 500 companies have already moved to Azure. And if I talk about Indian market, then there are 2,500 top companies that have already moved to Azure and number is increasing at a very alarming rate. So there are major verticals that are opting Azure are computer software industry, IT services, healthcare, real estate, financial services, retail and marketing, and uh, management consulting. So we are actually coming up uh, with the best offer of the season that we are providing a free session on AZ204. So it's for developing solution for Microsoft Azure. So it will be conducted on 7th of March. So it's a five day training program that we are providing completely free of cost. So Anish, you of uh, sorry, someone want to say something? Guys, I'll okay. request everyone to keep themselves on mute. Just be on mute so yeah. that there will be no interruption. Yeah, go ahead. Anand. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the reason I just said that it's a free of cost session. So you need to pay only 15,500 rupees and in return we are going to, uh, we are going to provide you with uh, some goodies which includes Microsoft official curriculum worth rupees 2100 and exam voucher uh, worth rupees uh, 5,500 rupees and Azure pass worth rupees 7,500 rupees. So roughly speaking like if you count uh, this total it will come around 15,400 approximately. So the session is completely free of cost if you look at practically. And we are sharing the contact details uh, in the chat box. So if anyone is interested to get this free session and take the advantage of this particular uh, offer, so please ping us on the number. We'll get back to you very shortly. So now I would request Kaveri Das to please take it from here. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. Myself Kaveri, I'm your co-host for today's seminar. So my colleague Anand has already spoken about the agenda of today's seminar. So I just want to share a few more things. Uh, would like to bring to your notice that we're doing a fundamental certification series. Uh, as you can, this uh, Rupesh, the dates are not visible. Yes, as you can see, the dates are shared over the screen. On March 8th, we are going to launch AZ900, which is Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. Uh, 17th of March, AC900, which is Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator. And 18th of March, PL900, which is Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals. So in this session, you will get trained by one of the most valuable professionals from the industry. So whoever the interested participant can get in touch with us, we'll be sharing the contact details over the chat box. Now, this is a small code of conduct which you all need to follow. Please note that you can't take the screenshot of the presentation. Can't do screen recording. If you need recordings, then simply subscribe our YouTube channel. We'll share YouTube channel link in the chat box later. Moving ahead. Uh, today's speaker for the seminar is Ms. Komal Sharma. She is a Microsoft certified trainer. She is a Microsoft 365 solution expert. Microsoft also Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator. Now I would like to hand over the mic to ma'am. Thank you everyone for your kind attention. Hope this is going to be an interactive and knowledgeable session for you. Ma'am, you can proceed now. Thank you so much, Kaveri. First, I would like to share my screen. Good morning, everyone. My name is Komal Sharma. I know you all are connected uh, connected with Synergetic today to know about Microsoft Azure certifications. 
some of you are here to build a bright career or some of you might be here to upgrade yourself in technical skills so i'm here to help you out and i will let you know how microsoft certification can lead you towards your bright career and to upgrade yourself in your technical skills agenda of the session is already explained i here i would like to start first to let you know about microsoft azure now as we know the technology industry has seen a major shift recently mostly towards cloud computing so defined as a web based computing model cloud computing allows a user to share information with others with other devices and computers instantly this can allow multiple people to access the same files and data with minimum efforts and can also give users the option to easily store large amount of data see these days many businesses take advantage of the convenience that is offered through cloud computing cloud platform some of the cloud computing platforms that are widely used includes microsoft azure the azure cloud platform is more than 200 products and cloud services that is designed to help you bring new solutions and to solve your day to day challenges and create your future you can build run and manage application across multiple clouds on premise and at the edge with the tools and framework of your choice you know 90% compliance offering the largest portfolio in the industry 95% future company that trust their businesses on microsoft azure in term of security this platform protect your workload quickly with just built in control and services in azure across identity across data networking and different applications so you can take advantage of multi layer security it is provided by microsoft azure across the uh, physical data centers or it can be infrastructure and operations in azure with azure solution that brings together everything you need that is related products services or third party applications from devops to business analytics or to internet of things you will be up and just running quickly with a scalable cost effective solutions that work with your existing investment if you are looking to work in an existing new career and learn more about cloud computing so getting a microsoft azure certification can be an important first step as a computing platform microsoft azure also functions as an online portal that can be used to manage and access various services and resources that microsoft offers so here in microsoft azure first there is a trust your cloud you have to trust your uh, you, you can trust on your cloud why because here get security from the just ground up and backed up by a team of expert and proactive compliance trusted by enterprises governments and startup now whether you have a cloud environment cloud infrastructure or you have on premise infrastructure so here microsoft azure for on premise infrastructure for on premises across multiple clouds and at the edge azure just meets you where you are it just help you to set up a hybrid environment means you can take the advantage of your on premise infrastructure plus you can take the advantage of your cloud infrastructure and with a commitment to open source and support 
for all the languages and framework. Just build how you want and deploy where you want. And here there is a continuous in, uh, innovations with Microsoft support. Your development today product vision for tomorrow. Tomorrow, so you will be future ready. Here, uh, in terms of different industries, like you may be from different different in industries, you may be thinking that how Microsoft Azure is working or giving benefit in different sectors, different industry. So for manufacturing, it just uh, uncover new operational efficiencies. It just reduce cost and generate new revenues opportunities. In terms of financial services, just personalize computer uh, customer experience. It just modernize financial systems and optimi optimize your risk management. If you're talking about retail industry, it just personalize your customer experience, empower your employee and optimize your supply chain. If you're talking about the uh, government, so implement just a remote government access, empower cross agency collaboration and deliver secure service. It just deliver better health insight and outcomes as you just enhance uh, patient engagement empower health term collaboration and improve clinical informatics and operational insight. You can create content more quickly, collaborate from everywhere and just deliver seamless customer experience if you are from media and entertainment industry. Now, what are different Azure certification courses? See, there are different options. It just depend on you. It just depend on your goal and your level of experience that you want to learn specifically, right? Like some of you having uh, a goal just to have the fundamental knowledge. Some of you wants to go at the expert level. Some of you might be go for the role that you are handling in your organization. So Microsoft is here to help you out. Azure certification just confirm and distinguish your knowledge in specific cloud jobs. So however, with so many Azure certification to choose from, you may be unsure which one is ideal for you. So if you have certification, so it doesn't mean that you are better than other or you are knowledgeable than other, but it validate your knowledge and gives you more weightage in the industry. Some popular Microsoft Azure certification courses that you can choose. Like Microsoft uh, Solution Architect. Then you have Microsoft uh, Developer Associate or Microsoft Administrator Associate. Now there must be a question in your mind. OK, I have got to know about Azure. I have got to know about Azure certification. But why should we go for Azure certification courses, right? So Azure is Microsoft's cloud offering. Which saw substantial growth in recent year and enterprise enjoy Azure's hybrid capability. As I just told, if you want to go uh, for the benefits of your on premise infrastructure, you have spent a lot. Plus you want to take the advantage of your cloud. So here Microsoft Azure help you out to set up a hybrid environment. So which is why many IT professionals are required to get a Microsoft Azure certification and certification validate your ability to handle the complexity of Azure. Please your degree of experience. The so companies all around the globe that are seeking Azure certified individual that are willing to work for a fair salary. So there are a variety of Azure certification that is available. Next, just select the one that is best matches to your level of competence, competence and background. According to Microsoft, 
more than 1000 new signups for Azure occurs each day. So you can just imagine the use of this platform, which equates to approximately 3,65,000 new signups each day. Wow, such a big number. Additionally, over 57% of Fortune 500 companies use Microsoft Azure. So these statistics just demonstrate that due to the popularity of Microsoft Azure, the need for those skilled in Azure will only continue to grow. So obtaining that certification is the first key step to achieving your career goal. The growing demand for a career in cloud computing is just good enough reason. I just say it's a good enough reason to acquire Azure certification. It can also help you to gain better career opportunity in different sectors and location that I just explained you. So in addition, the certificate offer many professional development opportunities that can help you to achieve your goal. Now we will just focus what are the different benefits of Azure certification. In terms of career growth, by getting your certification in this field, it's just likely you will see an increase in your earning, right? Of course, you most of you are just think that how we can increase our earning, right? So as most clients and employers just appreciate when someone has received advanced training, advanced certification. So after all, it just shows they are expert in that field, right? Of course, when you are having certification in your hand, it means that you are expert in that field and offering a higher salary to, to, to that individual with this expertise is often worth it to most employers. And several Fortune 500 companies such as Wipro, Facebook, they are just actively hiring skilled and professionals who are certified in Microsoft Azure. Now, if there is something in your mind about flexibility, so if flexibility is important to you when it comes to your career, a Microsoft Azure certification can offer you just that. So with a Microsoft Azure certification, you may qualify for several different roles in the technology field, such as solution architect, uh, you have option for developer or cloud architect. Here you get a structured learning approach when it comes to online learning. There are, you know, lots of options. You might be thinking, oh, if there is a long online learning, you have option for different websites different uh, channels, YouTube channels, you can get enough material for the same. But they don't receive that structured learning approach by using various online resources. So sometimes it can be confusing and it can be easy to misunderstand the important information or even you can just miss out something which is very important. So by enrolling in an accredited courses, you learn everything you need to know to master Microsoft Azure and receive expert help and instruction along the way. With Microsoft Azure, as, uh, Azure certification courses, you can just stay updated on the latest trend in the industry. So with these courses, you are learning all the newest information and you are just kept up to date on the latest trends. The key to expanding your knowledge base and skill set is it's, it's, it's just learning something new on daily basis. You know, you know if you remember, uh, uh, our parents, our teachers used to tell us that if you it's, have to keep yourself. Hello. Anyone wants to say something? OK, yeah, so. Yeah, anyone who would like to say something? OK, yeah. no problem. OK, yeah, so I was telling about that when uh, our parents, our teachers 
uh, they used to tell us that if you want to keep yourself updated, you must, you know, uh, read newspapers or you should follow news channels, right? Why they used to tell us to keep ourselves updated. What is going on around us? But what about a technical knowledge? What if you want to update yourself in the technical knowledge in your technical field? So here Microsoft certification is here that will keep you up to date. The key to expanding your knowledge base and skill set. You know, if you are just juggling with multiple responsibilities such as you may have a family, you may have a full time job. So learning these things from various where various sources is just, you know, something sometime it can be too time consuming. So when you are enrolling yourself in a structured learning program, this is just the easiest way to ensure you are learning everything that you should be. So if you remember at the starting of the session, my colleague, they have introduced about a uh, different certification course that we are offering. So here you have a chance. You can enroll yourself in these courses and you can have a structured learning program. You can have a structured knowledge base. Here it is easy for you to just demonstrate your knowledge. So by earning a Microsoft Azure certification is an impressive credential and just shows potential employer that you are skilled in Microsoft Azure. It's a great addition to your resume and can help you stand out amongst other candidate who may have similar work experience, right? But don't have that professional training. They don't have that professional certificate that value a lot. That you have proved that you have committed. So it's not easy, you know, when you are done with your study, now you are earning, you are handling your family. You know, it's not easy to go for a professional certification. It's not easy to earn a professional certification. So unlike self learning from various online sources, taking a time to enroll in a course, study for an exam and become certified. It takes a whole different level of commitment. So it shows that you are willing to put time and money into furthering your education in an industry that you are passionate about. Right? Now, in terms of ROI, so better training will always result in an individual having better productivity. And better productivity is always an improvement to ROI. So as you review candidates for opening with your organization, pay special attention to those who have earned Microsoft certification. Now, why? Why it happens? Because they make great employee. They drive fast to time value. They just onboard quickly and they are adopt. They are adapt at responding to challenges. You know, according to uh, IT managers who have interviewed in organization. They say that certified application developer, they are almost 90% more productive, productive and nearly 60% more efficient, you know. So as a certified Azure professional, you can reduce IT cost in your company by effective scaling and managing hosted assets. In addition, certified professionals can reduce cost in critical areas like power utilization, new software redesign and maintenance of information security system. Now we will discuss what are the different levels of Azure certification. So here we have the fundamental, associate, expert, and specialty that are four level of Microsoft certification. Uh, I just request you all to please mute yourself. Thank you. So fundamental certification. This is for those who are just getting started with cloud. Right. So these certification may also be used to you 
with non technical background to just begin with cloud journey right like uh, most of you might be having from a different different background you don't have any cloud platform you are just a beginner you are just a student so you might be thinking how to start where to start so no issues here you have fundamental certifications that will help you to decide your further journey journey right so when you have fundamental certification now you have at least the base knowledge and now further you can decide okay now i have as well fundamental knowledge or i have this platform knowledge okay now i am getting it properly move further this is the time you can decide whether you want to go for the uh, developer whether you want to go for uh, administrator so here this is the level where you can decide your career journey with associate certification you can just choose a role based certification to begin learning just valuable job role skills so after fundamental as i said you have to decide which role you want to go for so here associate certification or you can say the role based certification can help you to decide your job role skills if you are already acquainted to azure you will be able to mention the certificate on your cv with ease so some of you might be thinking that oh, okay if i have already a fundamental knowledge should i go for fundamental first and then to associate no it's not like that if already you have some fundamental knowledge if already some fundamental concepts are clear to you you can directly move to associate certification this is what the flexibility i was talking about now if you want to explore a specialty if you are a microsoft certified educator and microsoft office technical certification so here you may get an expert certification in azure if you have past experience uh, a through to uh, a throughout gap and associate level knowledge of that platform means if already you are on a particular job role from last two year one year you have already enough knowledge now you think that okay now i am already having enough experience in this field why should not directly jump to expert level yes of course you can you can opt for education if you really wants to go for the specialization level right but here if you have specialty certification too this is presently offered for select positions such as uh, azure for sap workload and azure iot developer specialty now moving forward to azure certification path for 2022 this is a, a new certification microsoft azure certification path that i have brought for you as you can have a look here you have to start your journey from the fundamental certification that is azure 900 after once you are having fundamental knowledge you can move forward for associate level or for your role based level certification like here is it 900 this is the basic this is the fundamental uh, exam this is the fundamental uh, certification for microsoft azure now here you have different options here you have different certificate like after az900 you can go to az204 in this az204 here you can go for developing solutions for microsoft azure and then here you can come up for this expert level certificate that is devops so that is az400 it is microsoft azure devops solution exam similarly here you have option for administrator like if you do not want to go for solution expert you can go for azure administrator so microsoft is uh, the certified fundamental exams are you can see a path way to fully understanding what cloud computing is what options are available for microsoft 
and which options make sense for businesses to invest in right like these fundamental exams this is you can see our initial steps toward azure certification and at associate and expert level this certification is intended to verify that you have basic understanding of azure cloud services or not right so here you have go you have option to go for security technology microsoft azure security technologies so you can opt for az 500 directly after az 900 or if you want to go for another path like uh, azure architect technology exam you can opt for az 303 and az 304 and further you can go for azure architect this is the expert level certification now here you have option az 900 after az 900 if you are uh, like very much interested ma in data I... yes uh, ma'am two questions uh, the first being uh, just wanted to have a clarity on az 305 which is the upcoming new certification i believe and the second one is how is an azure architect different from devops okay sir just uh, just give me some time i will explain each and everything one by one sure yeah okay so here uh, you if you really are with data you want to just handle the data you just want to go for analytics and all here you have option for dp200 and dp201 now then if you have uh, interest towards artificial intelligence then you can go for ai 100 after az 900 then you have option for az 100 so here you have the flexibility to choose your path so here the fundamental level certifications microsoft offers a range of fundamental level certifications like first i would like to tell you about az 900 az 900 like whether you are new to this field or uh, like a seasoned professionals mastering the basic in Ma microsoft azure it can just help you to jump start your career and prepare you to deep uh, just into the many technical opportunities that azure offer that in your earlier uh, screen i have showed you the different path that you can go for with microsoft azure fundamental certification now dp900 this is microsoft certifies azure data fundamental exam this is to master data in the cloud and you need the right foundation a solid understanding of core data concept such as relation data non relation data and analytics plus familiarity with the role task and responsibility in the world of data and data analytics ai 900 mastering the basic of ai it can help you to jump start your career and get ready to dive deeper into other technical opportunities azure offer artificial intelligence just open door to new possibilities that might have seem like science fictions using ai you can build solution improve your application in advanced technology in many fields including healthcare financial management and environment protection to just name just a few right now sc 900 sc 900 whether you are a student business user or you are it professionals this certification just ensure ensure you have a firm grasp of a knowledge of topic in a rapidly growing field of cyber security m365 certified fundamental exams this certification just provide an opportunity you to prove yourself as a cloud specialist so in addition to validating your knowledge of microsoft 365 capabilities earning this certification just makes it clear to your organization that you understand the benefit of adopting cloud services the basics of saas 
that is software as a service you know the cloud model and the value of implementing microsoft 365 services microsoft power platform fundamentals this is fundamental uh, certification for your uh, if you want to start your journey for with microsoft power platforms now after these fundamental certifications Next, you have associate level certification that Microsoft Azure provide. First, you have Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate. This is AZ9, AZ104. Like here, you can go for AZ104 if you want to go for administrator level. You want to administrator, administrate. Then, if you want, you have interested in programming. If you want to go for the development part. then you can opt for azure developer associate that is az204 then you have azure database administrator associate that is 300 as i told if you want to go for data for security you have option for az500 then for azure data engineer associate here you have option for dp203 203 and for artificial intelligence if you want to go for uh, that ai engineer associate here you have the certification for ai 102 then you have option for azure stack hub operator associate that is az 600 after these associate level you have expert level certificates so here you have microsoft certified azure solution architect expert that is az 303 and microsoft certified devops engineer expert that is az404 you guys don't worry if any certification is missed i will give you the detail information for the same okay so after that we have the specialty certification that is microsoft certified azure iot developer specialty that is az220 and azure for sap workload specialty that is az102 have some more options that you can choose like here uh, after az900 you have option for az102 or you can go for az104 that is administrator az140 in your ai field here after ai900 you can go for microsoft azure iot developer or after az900 you can go for az304 or here you have option az9 z900 then you can choose for 104 that is azure administrator or developing a solution for microsoft azure after these two here you have option directly to go for az400 that is again the expert level then here you have some more options that you can go for like after az900 you can go for az700 that is designing and implementing microsoft azure networking solution like if you are really really have good concept about networking you can go for the certification then az600 this about configuring and operating in hybrid cloud for microsoft azure stack hub microsoft azure az800 this is administrating windows server hybrid core infrastructure similarly you have az801 this is configuring windows server hybrid advanced services and then you can go for microsoft certified windows server hybrid administrator associate right have one more option this is about the data and artificial intelligence after the fundamental certification of dp900 you can go for dp100 or you here you have option for data engineering for microsoft azure that is 203 here you have option for dp300 to that is for relational database then after 900 you have option for dp420 that is designing and implementing cloud native applications using azure cosmos db 
After AI 900, here you have option for AI 102 that is designing and implementing a Microsoft Azure AI solution. Here I just want to share a link with you all. This is the Microsoft uh, uh, page, web page. Here you will get all the detailed information about each and every Microsoft. Like here, as I explained you, fundamental certification, role-based certification, then you have additional certification. All the role-based certifications, here you can get the associate certification. So here you can go and click on this link. You can browse all fundamental certifications. These all are the different fundamental certifications. Then for role based certifications. Yeah, here you have all the role based certifications. I think there was someone who was asking me about uh, AZ30. Uh, sir, will you please repeat yourself? Yes, ma'am. So just wanted to have a clarity on AZ305 because this is something new, I believe. Yes, sir. So this is the certification you were, I, th I think, asking. This is Azure Solution Architect Expert. I will give you the detail for the same. Here, this is a page where you can have the detailed information about this certification. Here you can have a look like exam AZ303 and exam A03, A, A, sorry, A0304 will retire on March 31st and a new exam will replace that is AZ305. So here the candidate for Azure Solution Architect Expert Certification should have subject matter expertise of designing cloud and hybrid solution that run on Microsoft Azure, including compute, network storage, monitoring and security. And an Azure Solution Architect partner with developer, administrator, and other role responsible for implementing solution on Azure. So I hope now you are having little understanding about AZ305. Uh, yes. Uh, also wanted to ask, uh, what is the difference between DevOps and an architect? Like, what are those factors which categorizes each one of them? Yes, sir. See, sir, uh, if you want to go for solution expert, like I will just give you the portion that is covered in this exam. Sir, the basic idea is that if you are really solution architect, then this uh, exam is for you. But if you have good programming knowledge, if you have good developing knowledge, you can go and develop the applications and all, then you should opt for DevOps application. So here you can have a look here in AZ uh, 305 the path you will get designing identity here everything so no, you know sir it is all about the solutions it was solution you can design and present for your organization but for devops it's this is not the case where you should have a good programming concept here about the identities design business continuity data storage infrastructure great solution with Microsoft Azure well architectured framework and so more more. So here as the link that I have shared to you, this is what it can brief you the entire summary of all the certifications. Any other certification if you want to go for, you can directly just type here and just search about the certification. Now, for example, if I have Uh, okay, for example, developer associate. Just click here. You will get detail of. Yeah, so here you have two ways to prepare. 
the online free here you will get all the content related to the certification you can follow this here we give you the structured approach for learning about the certification if you will click on it yeah so here you have all the modules all the chapters in detail just click on it and you can start with the same here you have option to download the certificate certification skills that is required you can download the skills this is same with all the certification for additional certification here you have detail of all the certification So I just recommend you to please go through this website once and just have a little understanding about the different certification. What are the benefits for the same? What are the different skills that are required for the same? I would like to go back to my PPT. Shridevi just give me some time i will sure explain you about the mta okay so here there is a range of microsoft security certification as i just explained you that now all the industries you know after especially the pandemic that has opened the door to more cyber attacks as company network become exposed due to workers that are working remotely so now as uh, after this pandemic most of the organization if they have to really continue working they need to allow their employees uh, to work from home now the problem is that when employees working from home he will use his own network right when you are working from your organization of course there is a proper secure infrastructure that you build for your employees here you have a secure uh, tunnel that you create for accessing the data for accessing the information from your employee side you may be having secure devices okay but now when they are working from home then the problem is that you have uh like you cannot stop your employee to uh to use his own network his own public network his own devices now user is using his mobile his tablet his laptop in this situation it is very difficult for organization to create a secure environment so there are many disturbing statistics that underline the urgent need for cyber security professionals because there are many industry they really do not know from where they should start building a secure infrastructure if they really wants to go for work from home infrastructure or if they want a, a infrastructure where they can easily and securely communicate to their employees communicate to their customers communicate to their partners so microsoft is actually they like uh, around 4 million you know security professionals are required to just close this security gap globally and microsoft is doing its bit to close this security gap with training and certification on microsoft learn so for any more just starting in security who need to familiar themselves with fundamental of security compliance and identity across cloud based and related microsoft services so here you have sc 900 exam microsoft uh, sc 
this uh, should be your first exam to learn take and pass why because new security compliance and identity certification that are more focused on more discrete job roles for example whereas azure security engineer associate that i explained about az 500 microsoft 365 security administrator that is ms 500 these certification are composed of about only 25% of identity and access management objectives but the new identity and access administrator certification that is sc300 it entirely focused on identity and access management because there are some organization they just want to secure their identity their endpoints their access sources then what solution they should go for so for this if you have the certification in your hand here you have good chances to approach to this type of role in an industry then sc400 this is about microsoft information protection administrator because nowadays organization they are handling different information they do not want it to be shared to outsider or even they need to secure the information from their insiders too means insiders that can be your own employee why because microsoft says that the security infrastructure says that we are not going to trust anyone and when we are not going to trust anyone how we will work with them right so what it says it says don't trust just verify everything verify everyone whoever is working with you he may be your own employee he may be your customer just verify them so it is very important for organization to protect the information from outsider and from insiders there may be some employees who are just leaving your organization with the information with the important information they can share this information to outsiders they can share this in, in, uh, information with your competitors your information can be leaked or knowingly or i i i will say okay not knowingly but un, you you do not want to do so but still by mistake it can happen by mistake you can just download the information to your personal device right you can uh, share it with your uh, personal email id in that case is it very important for protecting the information so if you want to understand this concept in deep you must go for sc400 so here there is a range of security certification that you can go for now here i will give you one more option that is my favorite actually that is microsoft power platform certification i will uh, yes sc200 sc200 Yes. Anyone would like to say something? S two hundred. Sir, your voice is not clear. Will you please? Ma'am, can you please? Ma'am, can you please? S two hundred. S two hundred. Yes. Okay. Okay. Just a second. See, sir, security. Uh, this is for security operations analyst sir so if you want to get the detail of this uh, information just i will take you why should not i take you to the web page for the same that is sc200 just a second okay yeah here you are so this is security operations analyst associate so here responsibility including threat management monitoring and responses by using a variety of security solution across your environment see as you, if you remember i just explained you yeah about this 300 and 400 remember here 300 is all about identity and access management right identity means your users your devices 400 this is for information but what about the threats there might be di different type of threats viruses right there may be the malware 
if your user for example if i am a user i have received a mail and as i have opened that email there is a link when i will click on this link automatically a malware will be downloaded on my system this is a threat right or there can be a threat to my identity how there can be a user risk there can be a sign in risk my identity my uh, that uh, for example that uh, someone can steal my pro, my password okay or my devices what about my devices my employee can lost his device he is working from home there can be some damage someone can uh, his he can uh, like if there is a uh, laptop that i have provided to my employee someone else can see data from him someone can uh, someone else can access the data from his laptop his mobile there is a threat right so if you want to get the detail for the same if you really wants to go what are the different threats what are the different access point in your uh, organizations from where there is there can be attack on your organization so for dealing these things here you have the certification sc200 that is microsoft security operations analyst here i will show you the content that will be covered mitigate threats using microsoft defender for endpoint this is for your devices mitigate threat using microsoft 365 defender this is all about your emails as i just gave you example about the email that with the uh, unsecure link this is the defender for cloud means if there is any threat to your cloud resources your virtual machines your database and then this is how you can create the queries and all how you can go for sentinel environment this is all about information protection thank you ma'am so i hope Okay. Yeah. Ma'am, I, I asked a question on chat box. Can you tell? Ah, uh, sir. Okay. With certification, I go after SC nine hundred. See, sir, I just have ah uh, given you options for all three certification after SC nine hundred. You have option for SC three hundred, SC four hundred, SC two hundred. Sir, it's now up to you totally. As I told. <laughs> that there is a flexibility there is only choice to you to only where you are interested so sir i just would like to ask from you where you are interested are you interested towards the identity and access management you are more interested towards the information protection or for threat management just think and answer to you sir all options okay. are here for you okay ma'am thank you so much yeah welcome thanks sir Okay, there's a question from Mr. Rahul, system admin, and I want to go for DevOps solution. Ah, uh, sir, I have given you option for DevOps too. You can opt for that. That would be really a good option for you. And as I uh, told you, yes, there. Yes, sir. Is it mandatory to have SC two hundred before going for uh, SC three hundred or four hundred? No sir, no, no, no. That all are independent certification, right? Okay. Now okay. again, I tell you, if you do not want to go for fundamental, it's totally up you to. You can directly go for SC three hundred if you have good uh, fundamental concept about security. But yes, if you are interested towards uh, security, if you uh, wants to go further for identity access management or for uh, SC four hundred. or for sc200 and your basic concept about security is not clear i recommend you to first go and clear your sc900 this will really help you out to understand the core concept of different other certification that is 200 300 and 400 i hope i could uh, answer you the mr deepak yes ma'am uh the wish ji uh, i have just answered this question that if your fundamental concepts are clear it's not compulsory 
to go for as uh, to go for fundamental first and then to move on to associate right so if your fundamental concept are not clear if your fundamental concepts are clear you are well aware for the same you can directly go for uh, associate level Uh, okay, Mr. Varun ji, you joined late. Uh, I understand you have missed some uh, topics, but don't worry. In my further slide, I have lots more to tell you about. Okay, just give me some time. Uh, your point, whatever uh, are missed, will be covered slowly, slowly. Okay, don't worry, Mr. Varun. Uh, I have shared one link here in this chat for detailing, uh, for getting the detailed information about all the certification. You can follow that link. That is about Microsoft certifications. I just request you all see it would uh, not be possible for me to explain each and every uh, certification, right? So here I have given you this link just uh, once, just once go for this link and just find out your uh, certifications and just get the detailed idea for the same. Thank you so much, sir. And Kumal, ma'am, uh, just for the just to make them clear that we will also be sharing the uh, email ID on which they can ask the questions later on because we have a time restrictions uh, in, uh, on the session. So uh, we'll try to answer as as many questions as we can. But uh, if there will be some questions left, then uh, those people can write their queries on the mail ID that I will share later. OK. Yeah, thank you that yeah. this was really a great idea. So I just request you all. So if there are again lots of topic I need to cover, right? right? So if any query is there with you, if any doubt is not clear, then you can just put that query in a mailbox and you can mail me. Sure, I will try to give the answers to all the queries. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, hi, uh, hi, sorry. One quick question. I'm yes? not going to take the more than one minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, yes, sure, sir. OK, so just one quick question. Let's say yeah, whatever the information you have shared, it is really great. So thank you for that one. Uh, so my question is like that one. Today there are many participants are there. They are attending the sessions and obviously they have willing to join the uh, training for this one. And I know Synergetic are providing the trainings for same. So today mm -hmm. do we offering any extra discount for us if we willing to join or if we do the spot booking kind of thing like that? Hello? So my colleague, uh, are you are uh, there for the same? So you want an instant discount if you will be opting for the uh, training. That's what your question yes, is, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, so today, today so, you are providing any discount, any offer, anything. No, those uh, those things are uh, not uh, basically with us at this moment. So uh, in that case, na, I'll again suggest Arjun to you. Uh, just drop an email uh, like. Uh, uh, is this training uh, you're looking for yourself or for the uh, for the team in your organization? How it will no, be? Individual, individual level. Okay, so then uh, just drop us the email uh, on which uh, you know we will be getting this result from this. Uh, I'll, we'll get the answer for this if we have any uh, offer or the discount. If it is available, then we will uh, revert you uh, with the solution. From our end. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay so sure, I'll be sure, sharing sure. that um, yeah, email ID uh, later on in the chat box. You guys can okay. check that later. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Thank you, thank you. I thought, here, here uh, yeah, rather than discount, uh, make clear uh, with the queries regarding the uh, certification that what uh, I will suggest everyone because we have a uh, limited time, uh, 10 minutes we have to uh, over this session. So if you have any uh, certification based uh, questions, then you can go ahead with that. Uh, hello, Arjun. Um, yes, we have discounts uh, for uh, individuals also. Uh, for that, you need to drop an email to Kaveri uh, Das. So uh, she will be uh, sharing the uh, uh, discount structure and, and all with you. Okay. 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 Sure. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, one more suggestion I would like to give all that and these that if you are interested toward any certification path any certification that you want to enroll yourself, just please put that in your email and sure I will pro we, we, we will try to provide you all the detailed information and if uh, there is any uh, discount and all, surely you will get uh, informed for the same. 
Yes, Thank and you. also you you uh, uh, please fill the feedback form. So uh, and uh, in feedback form comment section, you all uh, you can share your uh, um, technology you are interested in. OK. OK, I would like to move forward. Yeah. So after uh, security certification here, you have one great option for opting power platform certification. I uh, just would like to uh, give you the brief information for the same. This is actually the best way to recognize as a specialist of one or all of the new Microsoft power platform products. These power platform products are Microsoft. Uh, it, this is power apps, power automate, power BI. And power virtual agents. So here you have options like PL 900. PL 900 is a fundamental uh, certification that verify your ability and understanding of power platform. It includes the basic business process, data analysis, and more to generally improve an organization's productivity. Power platform that is app maker, that is PL 100. This is a certified individual ability and knowledge with key technical businesses analyst task include data modeling, basic UX design and process analyst. Power platform developer associate. This is for uh, this is just to create to demonstrate an individual knowledge and skills in designing, securing and extending Microsoft Power Platform solutions. PL 200. This is uh, for uh, functional consultants, data analysts, developer who are just looking to demonstrate their consulting and figuration skills. Or on the path of solution architect. Then last but not least, that is PL 600. That is for those who hold uh, this advanced ability to facilitate design decisions ability to configure, integrate the secure, the store and manage. Now the very important part, the impact of certification on individual and organizations around the globe. Some of you in the chat box has uh, written that he has missed some part. So this is what I just would like to focus you uh, what are the different impacts on certification so that it would be clear you to decide the mind for the certification. So in term of impact of certification on individual here, the first thing is that you gather knowledge as I just uh, have shared a certification, uh, a link with you where you have noticed for each and every certification. There is a detailed study part. There is a structured way of learning all the modules all the chapters you can go and just click on that link you will get the detail of all the chapters and all the modules so when you will go for the detailed study of course you can gather good knowledge and this approach now you will be able to solve the problems for your organizations you might be handling uh, different projects in your organization. You might be adding different work altogether in your organization. You are working in team. Now here, this certification can help you to strategize your work, right? Now, how uh, with the certification you feel confidence is just what uh, when you will get any certification, you will really feel that yes, now I'm confident. Now I can prove myself. I can stand myself with others. OK, I can beat the competition in the industries. This, this gives you a confidence. And it helps to just, uh, you know, uh, nowadays in industries, there are many customers who want to work with those industries where employees are certified. And there is more weightage to Microsoft certifications. So here you can build a credentials and image in front of your customer that yes, I'm working with employees. There is employees who are Microsoft certified. And it helped to uh, individuals to be updated. How? See, as I told, when you will go for a certification path, you will be updated what's going on in the industry, what current certification is needed. 
so you always will be updated and you always will be updated with the latest trend in the market here you can change the perspective of an individual how to tackle with some issues how to tackle with the uh, with the uh, with some problems if there is any concerns you can show to your organizations like uh, as i have given you examples about the securities uh, certifications like here there might be different problems like current days after this pandemic lots of organizations they are facing the problems related with some threats some identity theft some devices they are in threat so how to deal with the same how to give the solution for the same how to solve this problem now with the certification you have capability to pro to provide the solution for the same it is now you will feel this yes now i am capable to deal with this to handle the products to handle the projects to handle my customers to handle the issues right and now you will be having more core competencies of your workforce right here you have a specialty certification you have expert certification you have role based certifications so now you can give competitions to you to others and then with these certifications when you are having experience good knowledge of course it increase your managerial skills now if i talk about the impact of certification on organizations here first in today's competitive world you know all customer would like to have a vendor and consultant who are qualified and knowledgeable of course right so training and certification it helps in gaining trust and confidence of the customers now training and certification you know it's an it's an uh, expensive affair for an organization but it is definitely worth to invest the amount as this will be in turn reduce the cost for the organization and gain more profit it is just you know a normal human tendency that when organization is spent on employee even they wish to be more loyal toward the organization right this is what a human tendency like if my organization is spending money on me uh, i am uh, getting certified and that amount is reimbursed from my organization of course i will be more loyal to my organization it also help employees to gain trust on the organization now training a certification it creates a big uh, it's create a bridge between the organization and employee which in turn just retain the employees for a longer duration more investment in training and certification will just uh, it will demotivate your employee to leave their term of work and be loyal so it is generally seen that you know training and certification bind your employee for at least minimum period of 2 year from the date of training and certification they have provided now training this it it just create a good resources and thereby just making them more productive and useful this increase so of when you say when you yes, say 2 years uh, is that you know uh, a documented thing or you're just saying it out of in general no no sir it's not like that sir it's up to your uh, organization if there is any policy for the same like you can make the policy that uh, if uh, you are uh, providing this kind of training or certification to your employee uh, they would not be able to leave the organization for two year so if your employee would like to opt for that there will be understanding in his mind that yes i am there i am working for my organization for this particular time period so there can be a conditions that you can apply with the certification it's just up to you i am just giving a example and you know uh, these certification you know it's not easy to get this certification and if your organization is helping you out for the same of course it's 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 a normal uh, person's uh, mindset that yes my organization is doing something for me they are helping me to upgrading my technical skills this is what for my personal upgradation so i must use this upgradation of skills to my for the well uh, well being of my organization right correct so this actually increase the organization effectiveness and efficiency so organization just talk more about performance in the organization and employee just rather acting upon it it is always wise to take necessary actions 
so now i would like just to just uh, have some information about online examination here with microsoft uh, certification when you want to go for that here you have option to go for online examination so uh, i understand most of you are having busy schedule we might not get leave okay we are working from home so it is difficult for you to go to the centers and uh, go for the uh, examination so here microsoft offer you to appear for the examination online sitting at your home or you, whether you are in your office you can just appear for the examination here you will be monitored by proctor via webcam and my via, via micro, microphone so whatever you are doing uh, it will be really in a strict environment someone is there someone a proctor is there for uh, for you he will be looking over the activity you are performing during the examinations right so don't think that you are giving examination from your home and it would be easy no it's not like that this is really a very strict environment that is created so uh, if you are really interested in taking an online exam and for better understanding you here you have different options you can go for there are different youtube videos you can go for and here one more thing there is a uh, options to uh, like uh, uh, like uh, for the uh, like while chatting if there is any doubt during the examination here you have option to chat with your proctor if there is any convenient like for example uh, any suddenly you know no electricity electricity gone you will feel okay wow uh, now what should i do so don't worry proctor will call you you can explain your problem to him okay if really there is like proctor will understand the situation is like uh, really uh, it should be understood they will help you out to control the situation okay now uh, i just would like you to uh, is this applicable for all the exams or just yes, the sir. fundamentals no no all the examination it can be fundamental examination it can be role based on any expert certification for all kind of examination uh, if you remember i was just showing you so i have the liberty to take uh, let's say cloud architect exam for, from my home itself right 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 uh, okay here i would like to take this example Microsoft certified Azure AI engineering engineer associate just click on it so here you will get this page okay now here you have option yeah this is the area for certification exam here you have option to schedule your exam just click on it I'm just giving a demo how you can register yourself for the exam. Already it's taking my email ID, but first time you will uh, you will try to log in. Uh, uh, like you will you will try to register here. It will ask you to log in first. Okay. So here this is the dashboard that I'm getting. This is the certification detail. here is will notice i have clicked for ai2102 so automatically just please note here it should be displayed the certification exam you want to appear okay if you want to change it here you have option for the same uh, nothing is visible the screen has frozen screen has frozen is it for everyone no i can see no, no yeah sir see. please refresh your connection okay yeah okay so here this is for the certification profile okay here you have to put your name this should be the name that is uh, visible in your identity card that you are going to use during examination okay just please make sure for example i am using my pan card for every examination so whatever the name is printed on my pan card that same name you should use here okay then if any job title you want to put your address uh, your city country state and all all the details here you can define your phone number your contact email id so you know one more thing i just want to tell you for example you have login from your official email id 
but you want the communication should happen with your personal email id so here you can put your contact email uh, email your personal email id you can put here i hope i am i am clear you can log in you can uh, log in with from your official email id but if you want uh, the contact email should be your uh, your personal id sure you have option to put the same then you can choose your preferred language then continue Uh, acha ali you have said that it is not mandatory to go for az 900 if you want to opt for az 305 so yes, sir. being said that does it mean az 900 does not had have a you know a good amount of certification value i mean is it not that useful or how is it no no it's not like that every certification is having its own value in the market in the industry right but as i said here microsoft gives you the flexibility to choose your path and choose your certification it's totally up to you it's your choice microsoft fundamental certification are give you to give you the base for other certification okay if you just want to go for the fundamental certification it is having again its own value in the industry but if you feel like if you think already you have fundamental knowledge you are in a step 1 and you want to move yourself to step number 2 for your role based certification you can surely go for and of course if i am having fundamental knowledge i do not need to prove myself with a certification right i can directly go for the associate certification no problem certification is what i just want to prove my knowledge this is what it's validate my knowledge I hope I am clear sir Yes yes thank you so much yes. Okay so after this when I have cleared uh, clicked on schedule exam here you will jump on exam discount page here uh, you have option for exam discount if any okay like uh, in some organization they go for a certification drive they just give you some exam discounts like here again in synergetic uh, there are some options for exam discounts we provide if if there is any option so you can apply that exam discount here in this area okay and for which email id that discount is provided for example you have uh, appeared for an uh, appear in a training from your official email id okay your of, your organization have uh, have conduct and training program uh, for az3 uh, az uh, for example az900 okay they have said once you have cleared this training once you have completed this training we will give you a discount voucher now the training program you might have attended with your official email id now with the same email id you will get discount so you have to put your email id here for checking the eligibility whether you are eligible for the discount or not this email id is no connection with this email id and it is having no connection with your contact email i hope i am making it clear if you have any discount available with you for any certification you can use that email id here you can check the availability so right now no discount is available with me so i'm just moving forward now we will you will jump to this page here you have option to go for the examination if you want to go for test center just click on here if you want to go for online examination you have to click here now here it will ask you to go for the system check i recommend you to first go for the system check while registering for the examination and you should use the same device that you are going to use during the examination for example you want to use your personal device 
and you want to give examination from your home so please do this test at your home only with the personal device by clicking here it will take you to the system check it will check your system if your system is okay if your uh, that uh, 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 system or operating system and all that is okay it will pass you for the test okay now this is for the testing space testing is space this this will test you the space where you are uh, is this place is really like this this is not very noisy or the internet connection is not okay or you are sitting at the proper place there is no disturbance and all your photo is clear you know everything is there then this is for the testing space then for photo id it will check your photo id like uh, for example if you are using your aadhar card if you are using your pan card you can use it here okay you just need to go for a valid id and what to expect this is for the appointment minute this it will uh, take you to a short video about and uh, about how you can go for the certification i will just click on it will show you how actually it works this is a short video you can just click on it and you can have the detailed information for the same i do not know why it's not visible okay don't worry you can check it in your system it will just let you know about the entire process that i am i am explaining to you this is the same thing okay after this just click on next Here you have to select your exam language. So as you will see, there are lots of language you can choose. I will choose English. here there are some terms and condition that you need to click i'm just clicking here like that you can read it properly then only you you need to click i have already clear different uh, certification you know what is written there now this is the option for proctor language which language you want to speak with your proctor so here you have only two option whether you want to go for uh, chinese uh, uh, japanese or english so i will prefer english of course now here you have option to choose the date for your examination these all are the available dates today is 19 even today again there is a schedule for the same so don't worry for the schedule there are lots of dates and timings available for you for example i will click for tomorrow sunday now it is asking me the time that you want to be displayed i will click on 12 hour yeah so you can have a look here i have different options for the morning and for the afternoon it's from 12:45 to my god night 11:30 so you have lots of option this is sunday schedule even for working days see you have lots of option for morning or for evening lots of options are there so for example if i choose uh afternoon time is 2 pm this is what where you actually have to go for payment 
So for payment, you have to click on add to order. Now, if any discount is available, if the, you know, in the, in your second step, when you have to apply your exam voucher, if there is any exam voucher, discount voucher to you, then you do not need to pay or that discount will automatically be applicable here. So here there will be the total amount tax and the discount. And after that, the whatever the left amount is there, you will be having uh, idea for the same. And then you can proceed to check out. When you will proceed to check out, it will ask you for the billing details like your credit card and all that information you need to give. Yeah. This is the card detail I need to give. Billing information. Ma'am. Yes. Could you once go back to the date selection? Yeah, yeah, please. So sure. One more back. Yeah. Okay, it is not allowing me to go back. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I hear I have options. Sorry, change appointment. Yeah, I'm back on this page. Yes, sir. Let me know what you want. Yeah, uh, is there any particular time uh, to schedule within one month, two months, or I can go for six months also here? So I am sir, in February, right? So I can go for June, July also. Or yes, yes, yes. You have option. Don't worry for the same. You can choose your date according to you. But sir, I just, you know, it's my personal experience. I just recommend you to uh, select the date. Like for example, you have start preparing from today. I am I have started preparing for AZ 900. Example, it will hardly take one week. Hardly it takes one week if you really wants to go for the certification. And today only, for example, you have to promise yourself that now I have to appear for AZ 900 exam. And today only you have to <laughs> schedule the date for next week. Like today is Saturday, for next Saturday, just schedule the date. Don't keep it for three months, four months, five months. You can, but you should not. You know, when there is a pressure, oh, my uh, exam is scheduled for next week, I have to prepare for the same. Whatever the time span you will keep for yourself, you will be loose in your study. <laughs> You might be feeling that, oh, how she is saying only for one week, how I can prepare myself. But yes, I will assure you, if you really have interest toward the technology, you really, really wants to clear that certification. Don't keep a big time gap. Okay. Or you just, uh, or one more thing you can do, like you just start preparing for the You know, after two, three, uh, uh, two, three days, you will feel, yes, I will take uh, 10 days to complete this course or I will take 15 days to complete this course. Immediately just register your exam. Okay, this is just a recommendation if you want to follow. Any other questions, sir? Yeah. Uh, no, this is ma yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, this is Shri Devi. Uh, yes, I have a question like what will be the difference between suppose I'm preparing for A is it uh, uh, 900? And what uh -huh. will be the difference if I am going to do it online training and if it's going to be through synergetics through any of the centers? So if I'm going, uh, I don't have any experience in sure. And what will be the difference if I'm going to because online materials are already available. So what right, will right. be the difference? Can you just explain that? Yes, ma'am. See, ma'am, it is just. Uh, uh, see, I, I know, of course. You might have studies like we have completed our graduation, our 10th, our 12th. Just exam, just feel the difference between only sitting at home, study yourself, and the difference when we go to school or when we go to college, when we uh, get our teacher, whenever there is, uh, there is any doubt, our teacher is always there to help me out. She is strict to me. 
she will tell me okay why you have not completed this topic she will give me some uh, projects she will give me some assignments now there will be a pressure for me that yes i have to understand this and when you will go for the uh, uh, proper scheduling training programs here you have really a good approach for learning you know always study in a group study from a teacher from an instructor is better than a self study or it would be of course you know sometimes for me actually it's a boring when i am uh, referring us a, a written material of course it help me out of course it helps me out as we prepare some notes and all by by ourselves but yes when there is someone with me who is explaining me this concept who is uh, you know sometime when there is any doubt i just clear that doubt immediately of course it always help me so it's same the case with you no ma'am you I'm have asking, uh, yeah, yeah sorry to interrupt i'm just asking the like if i'm going for an uh, associate exams like uh, so it is there are uh, like four days uh, training you have in synergetics so right. um, uh, how is how it will be will the all the materials be be covered and we needn't uh, go through the material again will that four days be helpful so I'm yes ma'am yes ma'am yeah sure ma'am all four days that will be really valuable for you all the contents that is that you uh, that i have just uh, uh, the link that i have shown you you can go and refer the uh, the module of each and every certification that each and every chapter each and every module will be covered in that training so don't worry for the same you will go deep dive if there will be any practical experience needed we will give you the practical experience for the same you will be having a lab uh, uh, you will be having lab experience too with the same if it is needed with that particular certification exam because there are already sandboxes available when we go through some of the courses there are sandboxes available so it will be much more like you say in these four days you will give us separate environment for to for us to uh, try the hands on is that yes ma'am Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, along with your instructor, you will be having that uh, training with you. So, will it be adjusted okay. to the uh, work work timings, or like, uh, or it will be on the weekdays? Uh, ma'am, for the same, uh, I think my colleague can help you out. Who just arrange for the same? They will give you the detailing, the timing, and all uh, about that uh, uh, that particular training. Thank you. So we have Thanks. the different time schedules, the different days that we arrange for the same. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And yes, along with your uh, instructor, uh, surely you can refer the material that I have shared you, that the website I have shared you. You know, when uh, we were in school, as I told you, when we were schools, our teacher was there who were explaining me the concepts and all. Along with that. we were maintaining our own notes we were having our own study material we were having an own books right the same concept is here with microsoft and synergetics you have instructor you will be having a proper structured training along with that for helping you out here you have study material to you like before the examination like for example today in this week you have gone for the training now you have to schedule your examination after one week after one month not immediately then just to re refresh up your knowledge refresh up your whatever you have gone through during the training just go fast to that link just click on that particular certification exam just go for all the modules once and just be ready for the exams okay so this is how uh, the balance between the instructor uh, the training that is provided by synergetic and the material that is provided online from the microsoft so uh, that is done from my side i hope i have cleared all the agendas and i hope i have cleared all the doubt but still because of time constraint uh if there is any doubt i request you all to please put in your email and send us and we will try to revert you back for the same thank you komal ma'am thank you so much for the wonderful seminar
also thank you everyone for joining today's seminar hope to see you in the next seminar and i would like to call rupesh now he has something important to share so please pay attention for next couple of minute over to you rupesh yes thank you kaveri uh, guys i just need your attention for a few more minutes uh, i'll be real quick here okay so i have few uh, important information uh, that needs to be shared so as uh, we had made so many announcement about the trainings and uh, training solutions that synergetics is providing so in that terms uh, uh, i have already shared uh, our official whatsapp number okay and the calendar for which we are providing the trainings uh, so you can refer i am resharing it once again for your reference again so you can check that okay so then uh, the next one is like we anyone who is interested to get updates over the uh, just a moment on the telegram they can follow us with this link i'm just sharing my our telegram official telegram link so we have uh, this two uh, as i have said earlier uh, if you have any thing that needs to be communicated with our team regarding the uh, you know regarding the certification you can uh, write us on we i am sharing this two emails with you okay i'm so sorry to interrupt uh, what is this link for by the way uh, sorry? microsoft certification course calendar the link the bitly link that, that you calendar, have said that is the training calendar available with synergetics okay so you can check our upcoming uh, the, firstly you can check the certification that we do cover and also you will check the next schedule uh, trainings in that calendar okay 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 so apart from that uh, see as, as you can see in the chat box i have shared two important mail ids you can write uh, write to uh, any of this mail ids with your queries and we'll try to you know answer you from our end okay uh, the next thing uh, as uh, synergetics is having uh, the it's uh, you know strong presence on on all the social medias where we keep on you know sharing the uh, informative content Uh, in in terms of blogs and videos, uh, e images, lot of lot of content content that we do share on uh, social media platforms. So uh, you can go and check our uh, LinkedIn uh, official LinkedIn page. You can find us on uh, Facebook. Uh, then you can check our presence on YouTube also. So I have I had already shared the YouTube channel link with you. Okay, so once again, I'm uh, resharing it for your reference. So we'll try to up upload this session and on the uh, YouTube channel as well as we had uh, uploaded many of the previous webinars based on different uh, certification topics, uh, which are there on YouTube channel. You can go and check there. Okay, do subscribe to our channel. As even uh, your feedback is very important to us. Okay. and uh, based on your feedbacks we are going to improve in future that's what we believes in so uh, please do share your feedbacks as manish sir said earlier uh, we had given in comment section at the bottom of the form where you can uh, mention whatever uh, the queries or questions or suggestions that you have to share with us you can mention in that uh, comment box uh, yeah apart from that we also have created our different communities on meetup application so meetup is something where we announce our next to, uh, upcoming webinars workshops meetups okay if the meetup is as we are uh, coming you know uh, the the situation uh, is getting normal with pandemic and uh, soon we were we are willing to visit to your cities for the meetups where we will be uh, you know having the face to face conversations and uh, meetup meetups will be set up uh, so for that information we had created different communities you can check this communities uh, i have just shared the links all you have to do is you have to download an application called meetup in your phone and check with this links and do follow these links based on your location uh, also we have a particular a special community called emerging technology community uh, created for for that, that is an open community for all the tech people uh, which you can uh, share if your location is not there you can uh, follow the emerging technology community 
then we do have this two upcoming session first that is uh, there on 26th of february it is a full day workshop session and the topic is sc200 microsoft security operations and analyst anyone who's interested in this topic they can register themselves by submitting this form then we have the next session uh, for based on our ETT, ETT, that is an emerging technology training session where we, we are focusing on the future technologies. So this session uh, we held on 5th of March. This is a webinar of two hours. The topic is build bright career. Sorry. Uh, no, no, we have again the uh, Microsoft Azure certification uh, webinar. That is uh, there on 5th. The announcement will be done on the social media for this. OK, apart from that, we have an ongoing session right now for AZ305. OK, so guys, who, if you want to uh, connect to this session, you can click on this attendee link. And you can join the session. It is live and this is a full day workshop and topic is AZ305. So anyone who's interested, they can directly connect through this link. OK. Uh, let me just check if anything I had missed here. I think I'm done here. Uh, I had shared all the important links and information with you guys. Please do uh, check all of these uh, links. That's it from my end. Thank you uh, so much for this for joining us on this weekend. Hope to see you in the next sessions too, guys. Have a great weekend from my side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rupesh. Thank you. Thank you for the session. Thank you. Thank you, Rupesh Komal. Thank you so much.
गुड मॉर्निंग 